Ron Gidry, Louisiana Lightning. You got Daniel Cormier, the two-division UFC champion. But now Dustin Poirier, on the strength of a UFC interim lightweight title, has a key to the city of Lafayette. And he will try to add to his significant legacy in this spot here tonight. The king of Lafayette, Dustin Poirier. He loves that city, and he embodies everything that the city stands for. Yeah. He's tough. He's durable. He's a guy that is looking for a fight, and it's a fight with Max Holloway to win the title. You saw that he's willing to go through anything to accomplish his goals. A truly special athlete is Dustin Poirier. And it's amazing to think where he was after that knockout loss to Michael Johnson in a main event in Hidalgo, Texas in 2016. Refocused, rededicated himself, and was able to produce a UFC title. All eyes on Dustin Poirier as he gets back on the famed canvas here tonight. Look at the decorated lightweight champion Islam Makhachev. This is one of the best pound for pound fighters in the world. Such a nuanced game on the ground. Outstanding striker as well. And puts his belt on the line yet again tonight. Yeah, you know, Johnny puts his belt on the line. This guy, this guy does everything so well. He's so well rounded. He's so skilled. He's so gifted. And he is so confident in his ability to go and get you. It's that simple. I'm going to get you. I'll get my hands locked, I'll throw you to the ground, and I will make you engage with me on my terms. That has allowed him to become the champion, and tonight he has even more of an advantage because there's the boy, Hasbulla. Hasbulla entrenched in the corner of Islam Akashev, and we'll probably have a photo shoot later if fans are interested. Let's see how it goes for Akashev tonight. the date for this lightweight championship fight. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> for this Great. one. Great. Oh, well, Dustin Poirier is back, told us in the fighter meeting that he wanted to get the hands going in this matchup, and we'll see if he can follow suit on that edict here early in this fight. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. All right, so Dustin Poirier getting off to a pretty good start tonight, and all driven by that straight left hand. Yeah, you know, Dustin Poirier is a right-handed guy, so he's pawing at you with the right jab, and then boom. He drops that right hand. We have seen him put some of the best fighters in the world on their back with that straight left hand. Good to see that Dustin Poirier is landing it early in this fight tonight. Look at that. Quick finish. That was beautiful. Poirier's going for the sub here. Ooh, that looks tight. Looks like it's getting tight. Good dexterity and movement here on the ground to avoid any further damage, courtesy of that ground and pound. Nice job off of his back by Islam Makasha. Ah, oh, he's been working hard defensively. Kick block this. Down to three minutes now to go in the round. Big kick. Takedown defense holds up. And now some separation. 
Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to grow and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Makashev's now dealing with a cheap cut. Nice job by Dustin Poirier there. Sticks the target and then moves his head off the center line to avoid the, the comeback shot. Head off the center line and watch the comeback with that beautiful straight left that he drove over and over. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. And he's able to work his way back to his feet. Attacking the body now, that shot blocked. Makashev's eye now closing up. Takedown attempt starting to pile up. Just misses with the left hook. Beautiful kick to the body. Lands a big elbow there. Well, mixing it up beautifully tonight. Now he touches him with the left. First round. All right, so the round is over, but not before damage was done. Cut on the cheek, sustained in that round. Cut man in there quickly as usual to try to seal it up. All right, as they attend to the damaged fighter, we will re-rack some replays for you. A lot of damaging strikes landed by the opposition in that previous round. Well, him just not really paying attention on the defensive side has made his opponent look like an absolute world beater. He's a good fighter, but he has never looked this good. And that is, in, that is partly because his opponent is not defending. Ready to fight. Ready. Here we are, early round two. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. Oh, almost like you saw the skin swell right away after he landed that strike. So that trainer's gonna have to bring in the end swell to try to deal with the swelling because this guy is getting pieced up. Hands going from the clinch, he lands a nasty shot from there. Oh, and there's that straight left for Dustin Poirier yet again. That has been his weapon of choice throughout his career. And he's got it working here in this matchup tonight. He's, he's got it going. You know, he, he is a good fighter. The guy is a very talented mixed martial artist. And when he can land that left hand consistently, he is a problem for anybody in that division. And he is showing why right now. All right, seems as though his sole focus is attacking that cut. And man, it's getting bad now. A lot of blood flow. Yeah, as it should be. Like, he should be focused on getting to that cut, making his opponent pay. He did the work. He opened up the cut. Now it's on him to continue on the path and make the ringside position coming here to try to stop this fight. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starts to find his range here in the pocket. Misses on the uppercut there. Oh, nice double leg, yes. Poirier getting work from the top here. He's got to do a better job to cover up. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. You wonder if the offensive fighter is going to start to get frustrated here. Most skipped on all of these shots are getting blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting one of the best defensive fighters in the UFC. Ooh, big shot man. Oh! He's got him hurt here. for the body, targeting that area with the kick, but unable to land. Under a minute to go. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. All right, so he lands again, just like we said. Oh! Swing and a miss by Islam Bakasha. Oh. 
All right, round three coming up next. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. All right, we'll re-rack some replays from the previous round as they attend to that pretty nasty cut in his eye area. You got to lock in defensively, man. You cannot be out there just fighting. His opponent is too high level to try to fight him with his ego. Now he's dealing with a nasty cut over his eye. Why do you need another thing to manage when you already got one of the best fighters in the world in front of you? You ready to fight? You ready? Good. Round three of a possible five. All right, so another round is now underway. Pretty good action over the previous 10 minutes. Your thoughts on what we might see here. Both of the guys really picking up on the action, putting their foot on the gas. Oh, no! Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. He hurt him again. All right, well, he rocked him pretty good, but didn't sort of smell blood in the water, and now his opponent's back. I mean, blood in the water. Oh, he might get finished here. Good block there. All right, so another nice strike by him there, and he continues to attack that cut. Oh! Oh, my goodness. Make the bad man stop. A nice stoppage win for him here tonight, and the other side just couldn't handle the incoming assault. A flurry of punches, most of them upstairs. And when those big shots land repeatedly, the referee has no choice but to step in and call the fight. We get the official decision from Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 11 seconds of round number three. You're playing the winner by knockout and new UFC lightweight champion of the world, Dustin the Diamond All right, so just as he had articulated in our fighter meeting, Dustin Poirier wanted to get aggressive tonight, and certainly that is what he wants to do. So here he is, the undefeated middleweight contender, Paulo Costa. Most would argue this is the scariest power puncher in the 185-pound division at present. And I think for those that would doubt him, he answered a lot of those naysayers in the Yoel Romero fight, outlasting that freak of a man over 15 powerful minutes back in 2019. Paulo Costa appears destined for future greatness. Obviously a big test in front of him here tonight. What he is hoping to pass with
right, so here is Sean Strickland, no longer the champion, but still one of the best 185 pounders in the world. He's got that high guard and outstanding boxing style. That says nothing of the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt that he hasn't had to lean upon in recent big time UFC fights. But this man is known for having outstanding cardio. He lives in the gym. He is a born fighter. And unlike a lot of men and women on this fight night, he loves fight night. He is able to channel those nerves in the proper way. And all eyes are on Sean Strickland in another massive spot here tonight. Center in Newark, New Jersey. Both athletes have graced the octagon. Let us now see who will have the upper hand in this critical matchup here tonight. Our tale of the tape for this much anticipated middleweight encounter. All right, here now the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Paolo the Eraser Costa. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Sean Strickland! Herb Dean is your referee. He's the third man in the octagon tonight. All right, so here is the bona fide UFC middleweight contender, Sean Strickland. And once he found his weight class, he has been unstoppable. A lot of people believe that eventually 12 pounds of UFC gold are going to be wrapped around Sean Strickland's waist. If that is going to be his reality, tonight is one he's got to have. And he believes the clinch game is going to be the key to his success here tonight. Oh, big knee. Him with the jab. Counter punch landed there by Costa. Those are the body kicks that'll crumble you. Oh, big knee to the body. That'll soften him up. Nice level change for the body shot. Oh, that's a nice strike. That was a nice strike. Oh, nice job to block that punch. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, big head kick there. Going to the leg kick now, and it's there. Nice job by Casa. All right, so now we start to see some redness under the... Oh! Start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Big left hook coming, it's blocked. Right oh, how good is that jab by Costa? Yeah, 35 total strikes have found the mark for Paolo Costa. That right knee, up. that right knee hurt him. He got hurt again. Oh my goodness. Huge ground strike landed by him there. How much more can one man take? Oh, he just heard him. That'll do oh. it! With a huge win tonight! Jeez Louise! So no judges needed tonight as he pounds him out for the TKO. I'm hoping I get an invite to the after party. <laughs> The official decision is inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 37 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by TKO, Paolo 
the Eraser Costa. Well, what a win for that young man tonight by TKO. And if the judges were looking at their phones, it's okay. We don't need the scorecards. Tonight. We don't need your scorecards. Do as you may. Proceed as you may. Because <laughs> this guy...